Hi, this is Rizwan from Cybertech Lighting. It's February 2019. Um, what I'm doing today is uh, going over our battery backup wall packs. We actually have three different uh, models. Uh, this is a 45 watt uh, cutoff. We also have a 30 watt cutoff, which is pivotable, and we have a 45 horizontal wall pack. Uh, that is also a battery backup. I'm going to go over how this battery backup is connected um, and uh, and, uh, and uh, hopefully um, it will give you an idea of how to connect the wiring. Um, what we're going to do is uh, explain the uh, parts. This is a driver, uh, this is an emergency driver, and the battery. The battery actually needs to be connected at some point in time. What we're going to do is connect the power first and uh, and then we're going to connect the battery up. Uh, basically, you're going to have you're going to see two leads, of course, a line and a neutral uh, uh, available to you. What you're going to do is is that you're going to take the line and you'll find three uh, leads going into it. The one that you're supposed to connect to, and uh, and a blue lead and a black lead. Uh, what you're going to do is actually you're going to cut this. It will be in a pigtail such as this, and I've already cut it here. You're going to cut this. You're not going to use this lead here. You're going to use this to connect your unit. In most cases, uh, these walls packs are either going to a photocell that needs to switch it on and off and or a, um, a timer. So uh, we are, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to connect two powers to this, one switched and one constant, and it will operate the battery backup when the constant is off and the switch is off, and it will turn, um, it, the other connection will just be the switched connection, which will turn on and off as the switch turns on and off uh, the unit. Uh, okay, so you're gonna disconnect these three. They're gonna, they're gonna be now, there's gonna be two wires, one black, and one blue. They both actually, if you trace them, they go back to the emergency driver. This blue goes into the emergency and comes out and it's connected to a black wire, which is the line wire of the actual operating driver. The operating driver will operate through this, this blue when you give it power. So, and this is neutral. Neutral is common to all two, both of these the emergency as well as the uh, normal driver will have their neutral connected together. So I'm going to actually connect this product together and I've got some power cords here just to show you um, how it works. Uh, basically uh, this, is, uh, this is two power cords, they've got switches on both of them. Uh, I've got the switches off but what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this, uh, this up to each one of these. Uh, first, I'm going to connect the neutral, uh, which is this one here. Uh, the, if you're using a cord just to test it, the neutral is the one that is serrated. Uh, it's the one with the bigger um, plug. Uh, you've got two, uh, two blades. The bigger blade is usually the neutral. Uh, the other one, which is the line, I'm going to connect to the black, which is the line. Now, this is your constant power. It's got your neutral and your black line coming. That's your constant power. This, the second wire, which is the blue wire, we're going to use, uh, we're going to give it a switched connection. So this will be your switch connection. And the switch connection will, so you take your line from the switch and you connect it to the switch connection. Again, we've separated those three wires out. Now I've got a switch connection. We don't need to use a neutral on this because in a general sense, you're gonna have a switch uh, in this system already. You might have a photocell that will be here. It'll take the power from that. You're gonna jump it after the line and then you're gonna go jump it through the switch and go into the blue wire. The blue wire now becomes your switch. I'm going to turn both of these power on. So in a normal building, both powers turn on. That means that the unit has power, it's running. The switch power is the one that operates the unit on and off, on and off. And during the timer, you'll turn it on, turn it off. The red indicator light indicates that the battery 
uh, there's power going to the emergency. I'm going to plug in the battery now. The battery is now plugged in. Now the switch power turns off, no problem. When the when the switch is turned off, let's say, or at nighttime when the switch is uh, on, both powers will go out. Let's say the building runs out of power. That means both powers are off. You see it switched to a dimmer uh, level, which is where it's running on the battery power. This battery is a four watt battery, which means on a 100, 100 lumen per watt unit, it's gonna give you 400 lumen, or on this case, 120 or 110 lumen, which would be 440 or 120, 480 lumens is what it's gonna give you as an output. Um, that pretty much covers how you wire this. Thank you very much.